Hey, so guess what? It's the confrontation. We didn't allude to this in the previous video, did, did we? We said we wouldn't. We were done. We were going to go straight into small, small videos about other things. But here we are in the confrontation. It's a bonus for this session of play. I know, right? Um, so we've kind of skipped ahead to the confrontation at the end of the case file. Mm -hmm. um, and we've set it up here. So the fr giant frog monster's turned up. And what we've done is we have rotated the HQ board, or rather we've flipped it, really. Flipped the, uh, the, uh, the HQ board, and now we're on the confrontation. This is what I love, is that the, the start of the confrontation, it kind of feels like it's, uh, it's the start of a new act. It's, yeah. uh, it, it's the big finale, and the reset gives everyone a chance to kind of stretch their legs, grab a cup of tea, eat a biscuit, whatever they want to do, and get ready to go back into the main thing. Mm -hmm. I quite like it. It feels like quite a nice uh, step in the, in the gameplay. Um, the confrontation side of the of the HQ board is very similar to the other side. It's got a few little changes. So any insights we've collected, we managed to get two, have gone into this section here, just to show that we've, we've collected those. The giant frog monster's boss card is up here. Yep. We've got the confrontation track, which by default is used to track the boss's health. Yep. Because he's got 20 health, so that would be a lot of counters, so we just use the, 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 the uh, doom marker on there instead. And then finally we put our, our yep. lead agent back on in the order they were on the previous set. The minion cards stay as they were. Yep, you just, when you uh, turn over the, the board, it'll stay in the same place. exactly in the same place. And then the um, boss behavior cards are, are sorted out. This is a part of the confrontation setup. There's a whole deck of these because bosses act a bit differently to other minions. Rather than just following a set, boring set of mundane instructions, mm -hmm. uh, they have a whole deck of cards which say what they can do. And each boss has a different um, combination of symbols. Exactly. And as you can see, we've set up the boss behavior deck so that it's got its matching symbols to what's actually in the card. So they get a shuffle and go into the pile over there onto the confrontation board. And then a new round begins, which means the enemies always go first, mm -hmm. unless the case file says differently. So, um, the first thing that happens is we draw a boss behavior card because the boss always goes at the start of the enemy phase. So, first things first. Oh, reshuffle, discard this card, <laughs> and shuffle the boss behavior. So if there was a, any discard cards, they'd be getting shuffled back into the deck. Which means you can never be too card. sure what's coming up next. Because even if you've already seen a particular card come out, it might come out again. Okay, attack. A so if an agent is in the boss's area, they would make a melee attack. There's no agent in the same area mm -hmm. as a boss. So otherwise, the boss moves towards the nearest area that contains any agents. Its exact path is chosen by the lead agent. That's well, you. That's me. But the ne nearest area is your one. Yep, like that. And uh, if it moves into an area containing an agent, it stops and makes a melee attack. So, so there we go. He's got a pretty hefty attack out. He's, he's attack eight. Yes. Yeah, so good luck with that. Um, you've got a defense of orange. Yep. And again, you could spend your action cubes here to boost I your could. own dice roll. Because the agent phase comes after the enemy phase, you can actually spend your actions in the enemy phase to upgrade one of your die yeah. for each action you spend. So if you're like right on the edge of death's door, you could spend all your actions defending yourself. Um, but obviously then that reduces what you can do in the agent phase. You often see Abe doing that because he has not got a good defence. <laughs> <laughs> I'll but, just throw more cubes in, but then he has an ability that lets him get cubes back potentially. So it all kind of works out. I'm not going to do that this turn because I've only taken a few wounds. So we'll see what happens here. Go so he's got an attack of eight. eight and I need to roll as high as I possibly can. Oh dear. That's not good. Well, <laughs> so I got a one, and then... You can double it, though. I can double it to a mighty two. So that's so six damage. So six damage. Oof. So it give me four, uh, and one, then I'm going to be flipping. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you are. So I'm going to be going one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to be flipping two of these, and those may give me down. So what are they three. giving you? Oh, I've lost two. Or I've de I'm going to be downgrading two d die on my investigation rolls. <laughs> I can't see it mattering. Shucks. <laughs> um, he's hit you in the eyes. That's he just, has. He's just, just punched me right in the eyes. Now, he's got a hard hitter rule, so that means he's, he's going to hurl you. as. Oh, sorry, he's going to stun you as well. That's not good. That's not good. So, so basically you uh, you lose a couple of your... Oh no, you, you lay down. I lay down and That's get it. back up, it's going to take me two actions. Yeah. It might have been worth upgrading. <laughs> yeah. Such is life. To be fair. Uh, right, so that's uh, that one. Now it's the venomous frog monsters. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you're the lead agent, so you get to pick 
which one goes first. Incidentally, key point that you mustn't get wrong, even though you have been targeted by an attack, you don't move back on the track because it, you were the only possible target. Yeah. You only move back on the track when target priority is used to um, to choose you as a target. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, so the ranged uh, frog monsters, they're going to have a go at us as well. Now, they can see into this area here. They can. So both of us are viable targets. Yeah. Uh, line of sight is laid out really clearly in the rule book. Um, but in this case, they're going to shoot you because you're the lead agent. And of course, that is going to push you back on the target priority track. So, mm -hmm. uh, shrink yourself backwards there and that's going to be a dice roll. Yeah. And now, you know what? Because, yeah, because you're stunned, I've got a feeling you, you downgrade to the dice. I've got a feeling too. I think you're right. Uh, 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 yeah, you down downgrade one die. It's always worth checking the rule book, even if you wrote the game. We always check the rule book. So that's oh well. That's goodness. actually better than yeah. my previous roll. So you know, three, three. range attack five. So that's two more damage. Oh, oh dear. Oh hell boy. Oh, he's losing. He's downgrading one on his fight. That's yep. not good. Oh, and another one on his fight. Oh dear. Now, the other one will have a go at me, at least. So you're going to take a bit less Because you're now the lead agent. Yep. <laughs> Doubles to four, so I'll take one damage. That's not too bad. But taking damage, damage. does push my living flame track up uh -huh. once, which is in the red, so it'll go up one more. I'm yep. on plus four, which is pretty cool. Which is cool, but if you get hit again, you're going to explode. Look, and that's, 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 a, that's conscious... a consideration for future Liz. You know? <laughs> um, or more to the point for future everyone around Liz. Yeah. Because I'll just go to sleep for a bit. It'll be fine. <laughs> um, okay, that's the end of the enemy phase. We're into the agent phase. Now, in this, in the confrontation, the insights we've collected will generally have an effect. And in this one, whenever we make a fight or shoot action that targets the boss, upgrade one die for each insight on the board. So we're upgrading two dice when we when we shoot uh, attack the boss. So, so you're going to spend two cubes to stand up. Standing up. He's a little You've bit punch last drunk, one left. But he's fine. I'm just going to punch him. <laughs> um, now, I normally have three red die. I'm downgrading two of them because of the two injuries I've taken. Yeah. However, because we have two... Insights. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to upgrade them back straight up to red. They're going to upgrade back straight up to red. That's it's a shame handy. to not have the black extra one in there, yeah. but that's still not a bad roll. <laughs> oh my goodness. But that's, that's only three. four damage. Four, four damage. He's got resilience four, so uh, didn't do much there. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> so time for some fire. So I'm going to roll four di uh, three red dice. Now I'm downgrading one. Because Hellboy's in the way of the shot. Yep. But then upgrading two because of the insights. And I'm adding four to my result with my Living Flame. So uh, let's see what happens. You, you don't mind going slightly on fire, do you? You're okay no, with that? No, it's okay. I'm sure that'll be fine. What is going on? That's one, two, three, four, five. One damage. It, it no, still no, counts. No. Plus four because you're Living Flame. Sorry, yeah, you're right. That's so five, that's five damage. damage. Okay. So that was a decent chunk you've taken off of him there. And there's now some fire there. That's fine. Um, I'm sure it'd be fine. That's one action. That drops that down a little bit. Hit him again. Do I go again? Let's, again. Let's, go, let's go again. Let's do the same thing again because, you know, adding why not? three now. Only adding three. Because... But I am doubling that to six. Six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. Eight damage. Eight damage. Now, let's quickly explain what happens with Living Flame in this circumstance because you... Used Living Flame yep. and got a plus four. But using Living Flame Reduces, means you would go down yeah, the track yeah, yeah. by one. So then he's only getting a plus three this time round. Yeah. So that's really important because I think some people were forgetting about the <laughs> fact that she gets that her Living Flame reduces yeah, yeah, yeah. as well as increases. So that was eight damage. So we're, oh, you're basically going to be just, he's just turning into, you know, a, a frog. A, a burnt frog. Um, I then, so that's my second action, let's think, so what, you, what we don't want to do, one of the biggest mistakes you can make is to hit the boss all out, forget about the other bad guys and get killed by them, it's really humiliating. Uh, so what I'm then going to do is spend my last action to get my flame back up so I'm ready to do some more damage next turn. But then if they hit you... They won't going to... hit me, mm, they might hit me. They're going to hit you. Put by one. There we go. Just one. Are you plus sure? Three. Yeah, totally. Uh, but whatever the case, that that's that's the agent phase done. Um, key, key point: 
once the confrontation begins, you skip the rest phase and the doom phase. Yep, there Things is are no bad doom enough. phase. The, you, the, there's no, the doom no has off. already happened. Yeah, exactly. You've yeah. hit the doom. Doom's, doom Doom's has occurred. Here. Yeah. Um, and so that means you will just go straight from the agent phase into the end phase, then back around to the enemy phase. End phase? In the actually... end phase, we actually, yeah, we have a, a, a fire here. So we need to roll a red die to see what happens. Um, there are three things that can happen. If we roll a blank... The fire goes out. We remove it. All is good. A one, two, or three, each character in that area suffers that much damage. Mm -hmm. Also on a three, it spreads to every adjacent area. That's kind of okay. That's a it's one. a one. It's one damage on the frog and, and one, one damage on, on you. Now, if it had been a two or a three, because Hellboy is fire resistant, he only ever suffers one damage. Yep. But as I'm quite badly hurt... That's still not great. That's <laughs> no, still not great, because I literally am going to fall unconscious very soon. You are. So it's it's fine, though. It's fine. I'm, I'm going to be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> right. and, uh, that's the, and then we would go straight into the enemy phase. We draw a new boss behaviour card, do what it says, and so on and so on, until we obviously win. We would obviously win. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's the confrontation in a, in a nutshell. Um, obviously, every case file has a different confrontation, but a lot of the key elements are always going to be there. You're going to have your confrontation board, your boss behavior deck, your boss card coming out, and insights are placed onto this track, although sometimes they're not. Yes. Incidentally, as well, the uh, each confrontation will tell you what you need to do to win the confrontation. Yes. In most circumstances, you do need to take out every enemy, yeah. not just Well, that's just the default. The if it's not stated, this one doesn't, doesn't say anything specific. If in doubt, the default is wipe the board. Wipe everything. the board with everything. Sometimes it will specifically state things, but I won't tell you what those examples yeah. are. I don't want to spoiler anything for you. We've already spoiled so much in this case file. But There's five more that are very secret, plus <gasps> the rest. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's... That's it. Let's uh, come back in a minute. We'll do some more videos on other things.